Hi friends, once again back to biologyexamsforay.com. Today we are going to discuss about the four stages in light dependent reaction of photosynthesis. So we have divided the entire process into four stages for the sake of understanding. Remember, all may be happening at the same time. So these are the stages, photo excitation, photolysis, photophosphorylation and photoreduction. And we'll be discussing these within three to five minutes. Starting with the first stage that is a photo excitation of chlorophyll molecule or pigment systems. So this is a thylakoid membrane where photosystems and all other electron carriers are located along with ATP synthase. Or thylakoid membrane is a site of light dependent reaction of photosynthesis. So this is a chloroplastoma and this is a thylakoid lumen or thylakoid space. So the first step is the photo excitation of pigment systems so that this is a pigment system 2 and this is pigment system 1 and this is a picture of non-cyclic photophosphorylation that is predominant in higher plants let's see what are photosystems so photosystems are light harvesting complexes that consist of accessory pigments and a reaction center chlorophyll a molecule light energy is trapped by these accessory pigments and this and this energy is transferred to adjacent pigment molecules by means of resonance transfer or a kind of vibratory transfer and ultimately this energy is passed on to the reaction center chlorophyll molecule and from where the electrons are ejected or raised to the excited state from the ground state and that is received by electron acceptors and that will be passed on to other acceptors okay so photosystems are the light harvesting complexes in the light dependent reaction of photosynthesis now the electrons are rejected from the photosystem 2 that is an electron hole or an electron cap in photosystem 2 that should be refilled then there occurs a process which is called as photolysis of water that occurs in the thylakoid lumen where the water molecule splits up to form protons and electrons with the release of oxygen this protons refills this photosystem 2 protons helps in creating gradient in the thylakoid lumen and oxygen that is released and that is the oxygen that is released during photosynthesis so the second step stage 2 is a photolysis of water in thylakoid lumen that refills the lost electron in photosystem and also contribute in creating proton gradient stage 3 is a photophosphorylation of ADP to ATP now there is a proton gradient that is created by the photolysis of water and also during the electron transfer the energy is utilized to pump protons from the chloroplastromal region into the thylakoid lumen space. Now here there is more protons compared to this stromal region. So there is no way out for these protons to this side to create an equilibrium. These thylakoid membranes are impermeable. The only way out is a protein which is called as ATP synthase. When the protein moves through this ATP synthase, the energy is utilized for the catalytic activity or for adding phosphate into ADP forming ATP. And this is called as chemiosmotic hypothesis and this force is called as proton motive force. So simply this proton gradient is created by photolysis of water and also by the pumping of protons from the chloroplast stromal region into the thylakoid lumen region utilizing the energy of electron transfer or electron flow so while this H plus moves through ATP synthase the only way for H plus to move out of thylakoid lumen that energy is utilized for combining this ADP to PI forming the ATP or the energy rich molecule and that is the third step and the final step is the photoreduction of NADP to NADPH. As the electrons move from photosystem 2, then moves to plastoquinone, B6F, which is a pro proton channel, then plastocyanin, and that is received by photosystem 1. This is further energized by the sunlight. Then there is a ferredoxin reductase enzyme that is close to photosystem 1, and that will reduce NADP in the chloroplastomal region to NADPH. So, at the end of light dependent reaction, the energy of sunlight that is received by the photosystems or chlorophyll molecule is converted 
into chemical energy in the form of ATP and NADPH. These two energy rich molecules that is ATP and NADPH will be used in converting carbon dioxide or CO2 to glucose C6H12O6 in Calvin cycle or C3 cycle and we'll be discussing that in the next video. And that's it. These are the four stages of light dependent reaction of photosynthesis. Remember all these things may be happening simultaneously. Hope things are clear. Thank you so much for your support. You are with biologyexamsforyou.com.